so today I just wanted to make a really quick video. In one of my last couple of videos I had mentioned um, how I had begun making soap and how I started another Etsy shop for that and I just kind of wanted to do a really quick video sharing with you guys some of the things I have up on my Etsy at the moment. Um, I have really been enjoying making soap so much. It's like all I can think about all the time recently and I have just so much fun doing it and every time I make a new bar of soap like every single one gets better and better and better and yeah so I just kind of want to share a couple of the things that I have up for sale right now in case you guys are interested and you want to check them out even if you don't want to buy anything you just kind of want to see what I'm up to um, I would greatly appreciate any um, feedback I could get from you guys at all and yeah it's just kind of one of my passions at the moment that I'm really having so much fun with and I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys as well so the name of my Etsy shop is the velvet soap company which is a spin-off of um, my other Etsy shop which is a planner stickers all kinds of stuff like that organizational type of um, things the velvet paper company so it's kind of like a spin-off of that just kind of wanted to keep with a similar kind of branding idea and stuff but just obviously a separate entity from my sticker shop so yeah that is the Etsy you can access my shop from the velvet soap co .etsy.com and I of course will have the link below so you can click through and shop if you would like to all right so the first soap I have available is this one here this one is called the strawberry boba soap this one is so cute and it was my very first soap and I really love how it turned out so I have all the labeling on here so you can see what ingredients I use the weight of the product um, and everything like that so these are all handmade products by me and me alone um, it's so it's just something that's so much fun but this one is a very um, nice like clean strawberry scent it's definitely not overwhelming if you are someone that doesn't really like a whole lot of fragrancing in products then um, this one would be a really good one it has just that hint of strawberry and it is of course styled after um, boba teas which are some of my favorite drinks I haven't had one in so long because they're not keto but they are just so adorable so I've got the faux ice cubes on here you can see a little bit of the boba beads and the adorable paper straw that goes with it um, I just really love how this one turned out and I feel like they are just so so cute and I was really happy with that one especially for it being like my very first soap ever. So this one is also one of my low top bar soaps. So you will see with the next three that I have, um, this one doesn't have any um, soap frosting on it at all. So this one is a little bit less expensive. This one is $6 for one bar. And the next ones are all going to be frosted soap ones, which I think just number one looks so cute and so irresistible. But they also have a little bit more soap to them. So they are a little bit of a larger bar. So the next one I have, this one is called the Sweet Lemonade Soap. Again, ugh. This one was such a fun soap to create. It has, again, the soap frosting here. So you can see a little bit of the size difference between the two bars of soap. These are um, part of my frosted soap line. So that is going to be $8 for a bar. And of course, this one is so cute. Again, it does have, um, I don't know if you can see too well from the actual label, um, cause I covered it up, but you can all see all the pictures on the listings on my Etsy shop. But there are little um, uh, soap ice cubes in it to make it look like a glass of lemonade with a uh, frosted top. You get a lemon slice in here again all soap and then the paper decorative straw I feel like it just looks so so adorable so this one is such a nice sweet lemonade scent so if you don't like the really sour or tart lemonade this one would be perfect because it's very sweet and um, that sugary kind of lemonade scent without it being sour so that's one thing I really love about this one and the frosted soap like can it get any cuter than that? All right, the next one, this one is called the Blueberry Vanilla Waffle Soap. Again, this is another one of the frosted soaps. So this one was really cool and I tried a different technique that I have never done before, which was kind of doing like a um, striped piping on here. So I don't know if you can see very well, but there's a little bit of like blue and white stripes in the actual soap frosting as well. But this one smells really, really good. It has a little bit of vanilla in it as well. If you like those more kinds of um, baked scents. So this one's actually really cool. Um, it has a little bit, you can't see quite well right here, but you can see on the listing, it has like a tan swirl with a blue swirl in it as well for the um, base of the bar. And then this one, of course, is embellished with a little soap blueberry on top. You have a soap waffle and, of course, the blue and white striped paper straw in here. And this one smells so nice and sweet and fruity and just a really, really cute soap. So I have that one as well. And then the last one that I have all packaged up and ready to show you, I have one more bar of soap that I am going to be doing all the um, packaging and the labeling for today and I don't have that one done at the moment but I will insert a picture of it um, in just a moment but the final one I have to share this one is so good this might be like one of my favorite 
scents of soap I've made so far and this one is just so much fun now I have to say design wise it's a little bit more on the bland side but it the smell is out of this world this one I called the double chocolate soap so this one is a brown chocolate base with a chocolate frosted top on it and it is um, topped with a little soap cherry and you can't see too too well from this lighting but there is a little chocolate bar in here as well and the red and white striped paper straw this one smells like straight-up chocolate fudge brownies it is very strong and very good it's probably one of my favorite scents out of all the soaps that I've made and it's also super super strong this is one I love oh my gosh when I was using this in my shower I was like I can't believe how good this one smells and I definitely can't wait to make more soaps along this um, chocolatey kind of scented line and it's just so so good I love how this one turned out it's a, probably one of my favorites even though it's a little bit less design heavy but the scent of this one out of this world and the next one like I said I don't have it all packaged up and I will insert a picture or um, some listing pictures of it um, but this one is the oatmeal milk and honey soap that I made again another one like scent wise oh, I just I die when I smell this one if you like oatmeal milk and honey it just amazingly so fragrant very very strong um, this one has a tan and white bar swirl on the actual base of the swirl it has a um, oatmeal uh, frosted soap on top and for the decorative elements it has a little bit of a, um, a soap oatmeal flake on there with a uh, honeycomb and a paper straw as well to decorate it so those are just a few of the bars of soaps that I have available right now on my Etsy shop I have a lot more coming so many more but because soap does take four to six weeks to cure you do have to kind of make it up ahead of time and it does take time for the actual curing process um, to happen so I have so many more soaps to share with you guys I'm dying to show you all of the soaps I have right now but I do want to keep a little bit of a mystery kind of thing coming but I do plan on making a lot more soaps so definitely check back on my Etsy um, every couple weeks or so because I'm gonna be um, adding a whole bunch of new bars of soap and I swear every time I say this every bar of soap I make is getting better and better and I'm trying different techniques techniques and different fragrance blends and stuff and it's really just so much fun and I have not had this much fun in such a long time so like I said if you would like to shop my Etsy shop I will have the link below even if you don't want to purchase and you just kind of want to look around then definitely do that it would mean so so much to me but yeah I just kind of wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing lately I know I've been kind of MIA on YouTube for a little bit and it's definitely been just a whole bunch of things that come along with it um, a lot of it being you know the coronavirus and everything work hours being being really extremely different and um, just a million other things that I could say but to be honest this has been one of the most fun and most cathartic things I've done in quite a while and I just have so much fun making soap and I just want to share that with you guys and let you guys know what I've been up to so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you will check out my Etsy shop um, I also have my planner sticker shop link below as well in case you just want to check that out as well but I've been having so much fun and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe you can follow me on Instagram link is below and so my next video I will talk to you guys later bye